Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see the second part of Microsoft Intune for SSCM admins. So in this part I will let you know how to start kind of Intune learning, how to go through the Intune console, okay, how to start it. The best way is to get a trial version. If you can see my screen over here, there's a post. In this post I talked about SSCM co-management lab server setup, okay, from Microsoft. If you you go down over here you you can get into a self-paced lab and if you launch and search with Intune you can see two Intune labs the second one is more relevant for Intune learning just launch that lab and see what is there so before launching it probably there are some prerequisites for the lab so basically those those prerequisites are like something like we you need to have office 365 or microsoft 365 a subscription so you can probably what you can do is you when you start the uh, lab right it will automatically launch the portal dot office dot com and from that portal probably you can go ahead and uh, purchase or uh, take a trial version of Microsoft 365 so Microsoft 365 will have all the required licenses which you which you need for Intune testing if you can go to purchase services in portal.office.com which or which will automatically get launched when you start the lab you can have an option to trial Microsoft 365 over here okay, I would recommend to go with um, E3 version or E5 version whichever you want okay, in this case I am going to take the E3 version of Microsoft 365 and get a trial version so if I click on that you need to put in the phone number and all the do, all those things which you need I have explained in a different blog post how to take a trial version you, you can refer to that post to get more details I'm not going to cover that in this video so once you get the trial version of Microsoft 365 what you can do is you can go through the self-paced lab over here as you can see it has all the instructions like what are the things needed what is the objective you can learn Intune policies how to deploy Intune policies how to deploy Windows 10 Defender policies etc etc there are prerequisites mentioned over here in the self paced lab stating okay this is the username you can use and kind of stuff like that uh, one of the prerequisites is mentioned that review users and groups the user should have proper of Microsoft 365 license My Microsoft Intune is configured as a MDM authority so this is also required then you should have a subscription this is optional for in lab but if you want to test Windows Defender Security Center you need to have this also this is part of Microsoft 365 then you will get a lab overview in the lab overview you can see what is the first exercise and kind of stuff like that so I'm not going to go deep into it but if you can read it try it out it will be a good starting point for Intune learning basically what what I did is I have logged into device management.microsoft.com that is a portal for Intune so you can directly go into device management.microsoft.com and manage your Windows 10 devices through Intune as you can see you have to have a subscription I have told you like how to take a trial version of Microsoft 365 subscription so that will provide you the access to the Intune portal so basically first of all you need to go to probably Azure Active Directory as a first step to set up in the first step if you, if you go to Azure Active Directory uh, you can see a MDM over here okay so in MDM you can see Microsoft Intune application under the mobility blade okay if you go inside mobility blade if you go inside Microsoft Intune configure option you can see all these scope settings you need to make sure that this is in place before you start managing kind of Intune infrastructure right so this is the first step 
if you are SSCM admin, uh, this is kind of a similar thing, right? Like uh, installing SSCM and uh, testing the connectivity, launching the console and testing the connectivity, probably start using the discovery, user discovery or AD system discovery or something similar to that. Okay, so this is kind of as initial, initial kind of a setup which we can do in, in tune. That is where Azure AD comes into picture. If you want to use any other kind of MDM solutions, like AirWatch or something you can use this option to add that AirWatch, IBM Mars 360, Manage Engine those things are already there Mobile Iron and kind of stuff like that that option is also there you can connect uh, those MDMs into Azure Active Directory so, so let's go back to Intune stuff so if you can see on the left hand side there are different nodes over there device enrollment so basically device enrollment is a place where you can set up some rules as a part of global configuration and kind of stuff like that for example if you if you go in there you can basically see a different de device type enrollments like apple enrollment android enrollment windows enrollment uh, you can define your criteria to enroll the devices basically uh, you can set up apple mdm push certificate and uh, you can set Set up the DEP program Apple DEP program over here from this blade if you want to manage iOS or Mac OS devices right and if you want to manage Android devices you can set up from here okay so this is basically from a SSEM perspective kind of uh, installing installing clients and enrolling into SSEM management right the, I can't find this similar configuration in SSEM so probably it was there before when uh, there was a hybrid mode and all but it's not relevant at the moment I feel even Windows enrollment right Windows enrollment is where you can specify all these things like which are Windows hello policy you can set up automatic enrollment configuration if I go to automatic enrollment pro configuration you will get the same screen which which I showed you in the previously in Azure Active Directory node CNAME validation and enrollment status page so autopilot profile these things are available in Windows enrollment this is kind of infrastructure kind of a setup node basically over here you can set up autopilot profiles over here you can set up enrollment status the screens kind of stuff like that so I have different videos and the different posts which explains uh, deployment profiles the basically that is autopilot profile enrollment status page a Vimal has has a post about Intune connector for Active Directory so I am not going into deep all these topics this is basic from a SSEM admin perspective this is kind of a infrastructure setup initial infrastructure setup and connecting back to the infrastructure and implementing or creating basic policies and kind of stuff like that okay and the interesting thing is if you have any terms and conditions which you want to deploy to all the users you can go in here and you probably you can deploy it to all the users it depends on your uh, organization right some of the organization wanted to have some customized terms and conditions which users should accept or something like that so this option is very useful I don't think this option is available in SSEM so enrollment restrictions is basic you can restrict with device types restrictions and device limit restrictions as you can see device limit limit restrictions one particular user can uh, enroll only five devices in my environment but I can increase the device limit actually that's that's not a problem what is device restriction right device restriction is basically if you want to block users enrolling into your corporate en environment with with their personal devices right you can stop stop this from here uh, device type restrictions if if you go ahead and create a device type restriction policy you can see what is the options available over there platform selection you can select to block Android Android enrollment won't allow you to en enroll Android enterprise devices same thing like iOS devices as you can see over here personal owned devices you can block personal owned devices if you want to block Windows home PCs from enrolling into Intune you can block that by clicking on this button 
button that is very um, useful and you have minimum and maximum range over here if you want to uh, specifically granularly disable or block windows 10 versions or windows versions you can do that from here and click next and that, that will help you to deploy the policies or assign the policies to a group of group of users basically i have explained this in a in a different video as well so from a ccm perspective i don't think this is this is in there is nothing called restriction policies or something like that this is a kind of boundaries or i don't know like um, in a ccm world it would similar to something called boundaries or okay i would say arguably it is it is kind of similar to boundaries but it's not actually a boundary you cannot compare boundaries and all these kind of settings okay anyways you can create categories also this is this is kind of stuff which you can see in intune in ssm also there are device categories and you can assign device categories so this is same as that there is no difference in that corporate device identifiers you can export the corporate devices here like similar to device affinity right in SSEM you can upload the device details into SSEM with the affinity and all right so this is similar to that okay enrollment managers yeah you can add enrollment managers over here from here these are the basic steps which I wanted to cover in the second videos basically this is infrastructure side of a setup for most of the organization session it will be a kind of a one one time setup and forget kind of a scenario you don't need to come again and again here and uh, reconfigure it or something like that so this is basically infrastructure kind of a setup from a ccm admin perspective creating boundaries creating creating boundary groups and setting up affinity management point affinity and assigning dps to those kind of kind of like stuffs are not a bau kind of activity you won't do it it regularly right if you go to a device enrollment tab that is basically infrastructure setup okay that is it for this video we will cover uh, next nodes in intune in the different videos uh, thank you for watching hope this was useful if it was useful click on like button and share it with your friends thank you for watching see you next time bye bye